Tubo mulu nze mozo, ayeke ne ono ozo, nubo se, uuru chitata. Aisi yonu tutu oma, efifi oma, mbeda oma. Shite na ngare biswe ne, esu ela ini lwa kubo, nubo sinketa na, ebo midia. Bo, eba isi wene uteru ni yabife, baro kubo ne mena, ani ebo, di chite, obodo di chite na ani ebo, ani obodo nka eno ni imea. Ediko usi di, Oba nanka bo mbo si zizigi ina iso eda ina iluwa kukwa na ibo midia. E kabalo ki metuwa kane ba na cha grade. And subscribe bo. Shia ekuya. Bokumu na indoza. Kafasi so ina iso ikwa dae. Ni ya ina eme. Thank you. Thank you. Oh bato bie. Oh gidi. I love you. I love you. The, the thunder that destroyed the zoo, just the name of it, that destroyed. Thank you, sir. Welcome, Thank you. I only have one question. You know, when you started, you, you said uh, the, uh, the 67 war, that they supported both ways. And now you always come out fully to always support them in any way you are always the first to come out to support them and i just want to ask now if on the second of december the declaration of our biafra now the door will be open is it possible to ask them to support us with arm because you are saying that the only thing we need is arm that we have the men and you are willing to give them men when the time comes for us to ask for more arm do you think they will be there to help us with arms? Thank you, sir. That is my question. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is not a question I'm going to ask, uh, answer you. Uh, this is a security question. But also, I want you to understand that Israel is facing enough, enough, uh, enough uh, enemy already. So, uh, like I said, I will not uh, address this question because it got us on security. But we are open to welcome any, uh, any support both militarily and otherwise, both from Israel and from anyone. But at this point, Israel is facing a lot of enemies and a lot of trouble already. So we hope that the, uh, the threat against Israel is reduced to minimum so that they will be able to look outside their own problem uh, as well. So the, the earlier, the, 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 the escalation of the problem, the better for everyone that is looking up to Israel. Understand the point? That's why it's very important that, that uh, we are offering this particular help, expecting nothing in return. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Warren Sister. Thank you very much for that question. And I uh, thought you, you have been omitting yourself even without uh, permission. Go ahead now and uh, bring that question up. What do you? Fortune Marabo, please. Fortune Marabo, you are not omitting now that you have been given the permission to. All right, quickly, uh, Ukochuku Biafra, unmute yourself. Hello, 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 can you hear me? All right, Ukochuku, hold on. Fortune, please, go ahead. Yes, really, thank you so much. Um, um, my name is Khalid, Khalid Abdul, I'm from uh, Bia, Sudanese Biafra, and I'm using my brother platform Today, I'd just like to share with you something and also I'd like to create awareness that you have some brothers and sisters that have been forgotten behind. And this platform, I hope in the future, will come bring us all together. Thank, and you, what, thank you very much. Uh, go ahead, fortunate. Go ahead. And, fortunate. and what I would like to say, I'm not fortunate, I, like I said, I'm fortunate, uh, comrade. I'm using this platform to share with you something. Uh, you, you, what is your name again? Can you repeat your name so that you are using the platform of a uh, uh, fellow Biafra? But just repeat your name very clearly so we'll get to hear it. Yes, my name is Khalid. K H A L I D. Okay, Khalid. My last, yes, my, my, my last name is John. 
J O N E. And Amsterdam, and and Amsterdam is Biafran. You know, like a, you know, like a, since we have been noticed, there is lack of communications between us and you guys. And since we have been uh, busy with this platform to bring people together, and what we have noticed in Sudan today is something really it's uh, it's historical and something we should talk uh, all about it. So I'm asking myself, we don't hear about you, and we would like to we would like to hear from you more. How can we would reach you outside, for example, in Sudan and other regions around Sudan, and where we are now at this. You know, conflicts, this our world today facing it, but Africans, you know, we are paying the high prices. Um, you know, just read, I would like, you know, you know, like uh, to share with you what I feel about and to hear from you some, you know, according to your concern. So share, share, with, share with us what you have, please. And what, what do I have today? How can we be in, 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 in better communication in the future? You know, like for example, I use my my brother's uh, platform to 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 get in reach to you. But yes, there's we, um, there's no okay. opportunity. The solution, the solution to how we will be in better communication to those who are, you know, uh, lost uh, uh, the Afro people all over Africa. We have uh, many of them in uh, Guinea, for example, uh, and uh, many uh, other Gabon and Co. So uh, the means of communication will be. The Biafra platform, uh, which is going to be launched either between June and July, it is going to uh, you know compete with every other uh, social uh, platform, and uh, that is going to be the official uh, app for Biafra communication. It is completely in our hand, both the uh, the cloud and the storage and the hosting. Everything is a uh, customized built by us so we don't have any uh, fear of anything so that is going to be the official communicating channel for the entire bear france and lovers of uh, Biafra and lovers of freedom and of course it is open for anybody in the world to use just like youtube whatsapp telegram and facebook and what have you so everything is combined it's going to be one of the best state of the art social platform that the Biafra government will provide so by then you will download that particular app and uh, you can you know communicate with us directly from there thank you so so like what i've understood from you now like we have to wait until the next uh option that the government going to do yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yes of course because then uh, every communication remains secure but of course for the meantime you can also reach us through the x page this x where using this uh, to host this place today. So then communicate us here directly, follow us, and then write directly and privately to us. Yes, really, thank you so much. But just really, I would like to, you know, to, would like to express to you, you know, how people know just that, you know, they have been dispersed, you know, like uh, they have no, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 something that, they could, you know, they can hang up on when it's difficult. So when you guys are using this platform, then, you know, it's a great opportunity, but also, um, uh, I see now the kind of energy that you guys really putting in there. You know, just like it's time not to reach people out with, you know, whatever you're going to propose. Uh, direct communications, different platforms, that all is okay. But remember also in Africa, like a, you know, kind of lack of, uh, of, 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 you know, of technology. Sometimes we will not able to reach out. Yes. So, do you have any idea for, 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 kind of, for example, like radio stations? Yes. Like radio stations? Yes, yeah. We, yeah, we actually have uh, the uh, satellite radio and TV, which is covering the sub Sahara Africa. So, uh, you know, if you have the uh, satellite uh, TV, you will be able to watch uh, uh, the Biafra uh, update and news. Uh, it is 24 7 and uh, the radio will start this uh, coming tuesday in the next two days the satellite radio will go off we will go, we go on air and then we expect of course to, for that to spread across first of all the 40 states of biafra and those who wish to you know uh, listen to radio biafra voice of biafra radio satellite radio can also uh, have the opportunity to do that you know, and uh, and uh, through communicating with us, we'll tell you what to do so you can, 
you can install the the receiver uh, you know or transmitter in your locality and people there can listen and uh, you know follow the awareness we are creating so that is coming of course and and i'm very happy that you are here today because like we usually say that uh, Biafra is going to be the beginning of civilization and of course the mass exodus of even not only people in your country but also there are people in uh, america the black americans who have lost their origin and all that and many people is going to come back to Biafra where they will feel safe uh, without any uh, marginalization or discrimination so that's uh, we all know this thing is possible and that's why they are preventing and they are fighting against Biafra for decades because they know what Biafra would do in Africa. Thank you. I yeah, no, really thank you so much. I would like to thank you for the platform. And I also would like to thank also uh, Brother Fortune, Fortune Marabu, for giving me his platform to share with you something. And I would hang up to him now. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. First, yeah. want to say yeah. blood, blood PM. Yes, I salute you. Yes, uh, I have a short message. You are doing good. But I'm coming up next week. Uh, Foreign Affairs Minister in Holland would like to reach you with you. It's a lady. They live in uh, Zimbabwe. He's in charge. One and two weeks we are discussing a lot. So we're coming to the point that I can have something to speak. Because that is difficult. I want to show before I speak to you. So now I'm sure what I'm speaking. The, the second one is that uh, the new government of Netherlands is behind us. We are a group of, we are here. We already have too much awareness. We already take responsibility on documenting people in Holland and also working with parties and different parties. So we are waiting for the new party which collaborate with the ideology of Biafra to be able to stand up, to be able to reach you. So I'm doing anything possible to make sure that uh, my presence will be rich. So secondary, we are working hardly that Holland knows that Nigeria should not keep the mass and can increase it. Also, it's official. So the same time, I'm pushing them to do something that uh, they have to do. So that is the only thing I have to inform you about Biafran Frank. I think there's already a message reached to you. You can understand it. Uh, you're right. So that is what I will say. I will thank you. Vam, 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 and I thank you all of you. Uh, thank so, you very much. Thank you very much. Are you are you in touch with the Director General of the Foreign Affairs, the Biafra Republic of Nigeria? Not yet. What are you? Um, okay, just, okay, okay, just hold on, uh, um, uh, Professor Professor Joe Irobi. Can you um, uh, take the mic and uh, uh, you know introduce yourself to this brother? Uh, Professor Joy Irobi is the Director General of Foreign Affairs Department of the Biafra Republic of Nigeria, and of course she is also uh, in the Deutschland. So uh, you can collaborate with her. I've also sent you a message if for a follow-up. Maybe Joy, Professor Joy is not available at this point. So I've just sent you a message for a follow-up. So we can, I can have the follow up with that information. But in case uh, Professor Joy contact you, you accord accord her every attention that you should have accorded to me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Plus, good to see you. Thank you, thank you, Master Fortune. And uh, Professor Joy, please, if you are there, just uh, come up and then uh, you the mic and. Uh, that I could take with our brother. Thank you. Please, the travel vlog. I've got a travel vlog from Israel. I saw you before. As I was trying to give you the microphone, you disappeared. You can come up back and then I'll give you the mic. You might have uh, some situational reports for us. And uh, Ugo, please grab the mic now. You have to see this course. Ugo to Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I love Abraham and uh, our list of information. I salute you, every one of you. My PM, I salute you. Uh, the prayer as I serve. I just want to, I, I don't want to, because I have 60 seconds, I, I know that everything concerning um, our cousins, Israel, you have already put everything in place. But my concern is um, when I was in one space, they were asking me a question, what, because the water has passed Gade in the, in one Nigeria people's side. So one of them was asking me, they don't care who defends the village in Nuku State. 
that was attacked, that was, uh, the Igwe was killed, and the terrorists uh, made a uniform from the zoo, arrested zoo means Nigeria, sorry for those that are here, arrested all the young men from the village. And then we are kind of asking, what is the measures? You may answer directly or indirectly, my brother and my PM. Um, what are we doing? Because there is a plan that the terrorists are coming back again. Because uh, according to them, they say in the afternoon, they are there with the uniform, three, five o'clock. In the evening, they change their uniform to terror to invade the village. So please, uh, yeah, what are the measures to make sure we secure our people there? Thank you. I think uh, the one Nigeria should be the better, should be a better place to answer that P2B. Should be in a better place to give them measures they are taking. For those who believe in Biafra, we have our measures to protect the noble people, those of the affected villages. And it's not something that I'm going to answer to them. They should just watch and they hear the news. Thank you. I'm aware of that. I just wanted them to hear from you. Thank you, my brother. Right. Thank, thank you. But please, but please, next time you are with them, just tell them to consult P2B. You want to hear P2B too, not only me. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, PM. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mansi Hugo. Uh, please, I have a, uh, if you want to ask questions, please do raise your hand, please. Biggest Gigi, uh, come up uh, in 60 seconds. Please. Yeah, well, great, PM. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, you have been doing a very great job. In fact, this year, I've seen a lot of good things. I'm from Road Delta, Qualifist Library. So I really want to thank you because if nobody is coming to tell the people the truth, you are telling the people the truth. If nobody is coming to see that the useless Nigerian government has wasted our life, wasted our resources, wasted the good part of us. In the past um, 16 years, there hasn't been electricity. And these people are collecting the oil from our land. If you like to look at them, we say that uh, these people have collected their, their oil eggs everywhere and they know the development. I've gone to other countries and seen all that. They do lose, they do lose you. Biggest kid, I can no longer hear you. But look at us, look at us, that's this thing. And the picture, yeah, we have people realize. I think uh, uh, I think you know, his network uh, is voice. Yes, his network is not very. His sorry. network is not good. I was wondering whether I'm the one that is having that network problem. Okay, biggest. I don't know. Your network is not so good. If you can uh, go back and come up again, it might be better. All right, please. Those that are in the room, you try and raise your hands, please. We attend to those that raise their hands. I will clear the room if nobody raises their hands after I examine. Uh, Danny Akams, please, you have 60 seconds. Danny Akams, can you please unmute yourself? You have 60 seconds to bring your question. Danny. Yeah, good evening, the Prime Minister. Um, thank you very much. Um, we are very much around with you. Uh, we support uh, yeah, what you are doing to be a France. Um, this is uh, you might uh, you might decide to answer this question or you might uh, not answer it. Uh, it's just a kind of uh, internal security. I know exactly the answer, but uh, if it we you will try to make it very clear to the to Biafra, we have established a police force as well. Um, which I knew very much well that uh, I know the. I know the time, uh, the, the time, that's what I, um, as I said, I know the place, I know the answer, but if you can make it more clear that uh, when people are saying that now that the internal security, that uh, due to the, our military are being protected uh, after the military, uh, internal security, the, secu uh, the police force supposed to be helping in, the, in maintaining peace and crimes in, in the, uh, in, uh, internally. Uh, can you explain to them the reason 
reason and uh, when actually that uh, that bring up the police force now might bring might bring a time of internal uh, conflict so thank you prime minister we will continue to support you no matter whatever we have stand uh, Biafra must come now thank you uh, prime minister Thank you very much. Uh, your question was not very clear, but I think I know what you're trying to ask. The point is that the uh, the uh, formation of the Biafra police to maintain the uh, peace and the order is on the process. And of course, because of it's on the process and because of the fragile situation we have in our land and the sabotage, we are taking it very very easy on a very low key. So the uh, Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters, the Biafra Defense Force, completely are in charge of the internal security of the Biafra people, and the Biafra land at this point. But gradually, we are raising the police force of Biafra state by state, and we are not in a rush because of the complicity of the whole thing and remember that the enemies are also trying to use every announcement we make to recruit people and use them as sacrifice those who want to continue to please the Fulanese that they are actually dealing with Biafra forces they will recruit people send them to succumb and the same people will tell the military where they are they will go there and kill them and when they kill them they will announce that oh they have evaded ESN camp uh, IPOB camp here and there just to continue to deceive the people paying the money that they are actually fighting against Biafra Liberation. So while Biafra Liberation Army remain untouched, and of course our firepower is increasing every day uh, to sustain the uh, you know the aggression of the enemy. So the police is something that is already ongoing. And by when I saw any and a mini rock on a passing guitar, I saw a passing guitar man on a I think which by a zero and the cause idea and the kind of if I be a prime prime minister when you rock over Zuruki be a boy a year boy a boy dear guys for when you tell you cause you do came back getting you when you was the market be fair Eh, kabaro ke drop ora your comment, your own suggestion. Ni enda ni nebe from Prime Minister Boni Rawo. Thank you so much and stay tuned. Ibo Media. Daro no mo